All righty, guys. Welcome to Rant and Chill on this channel. I like to rant and I like to chill. Here we're going to be chilling. Going to be reacting to uh, Love Bites, Don't Bite the Dust, live from Ride of Vengeance Tour 2021. You might be asking, Mr. Debney, haven't you seen this before? I'm pretty sure I have. We're going to call this a re-reaction, brother. We're going to revisit some of the things we, we liked. Why not? Because, you know, we do it all the freaking time and remind ourselves, man, that is a dang good song. That is a dang good performance. And maybe we'll have that. I know. It's been a while since I've seen Don't Bite the Dust. Well, actually, that's a lie because it was one of the things that they played, if I remember correctly, uh, they're in The Shining Volume 2, right? I believe so. I believe so. Yeah. Anyway, let's go and put it on the screen and uh, get into this, man. Love Bites, Don't Buy the Dust. Oh, if you like this sort of thing, you already know what to do. The thing that everyone says. Like, share, subscribe, uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's get with this. Oh, oh, we're going to start from the very, very beginning. Here we go. say the pacing in the song is just fantastic the build of the song is fantastic the construction is great I, this is one of my favorite songs this is one of my favorite songs i know i know i interrupted just to say that but it's, it is really good uh, let's go play some more Yeah, good pause again because there's a great flow in this. You notice how the, the high notes of the sound are really nice and crisp and clean. And uh, there's like this balance with that. While that's happening, there's like this nice uh, feel or presence with the drum and the bass. And then um, uh, after that, uh, there is that, uh, what, what, instead of doing this, like, you know, a little good, you know, nice high notes whatever on the guitar then they're like doing the feels on the on the on the chords and everything and it's, it just sounds so good and like it just flows the melody just flows uh, it's a nice transition it's very simple it's like you you recognize that that melody they, they played from the very beginning throughout the song and it's just so great it's so great i also really like how um the drum and bass is the focus when asami is singing there's almost like just a pocket of silence just giving her the full attention and her voice can do like like it's just great anyway <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dude, they're so into the song. Oh, I know. I should have paused it. <laughs> Kind of wish it was my first time watching him, but it's even better that it's not. I don't know, man. I watched this. I'm like, I've, I've fallen even more, and I just say it, man. Like, uh, in love with the song. The song is great. The song is fantastic. I, I just love the way it sounds, um, man. And watching him play it again is just great. It's better to see them play it because you get to see how they really are and how they. Uh, emote uh, during it like Midori is so freaking expressive and so is Miyako in her own way in her own way but Midori man she was like oh god like um this is there's like a there's a steel something I saw I was like this that that freeze frame that like you'll see that image sometimes about Midori whatever hair is like flying up to oh man it looks great it's great She's flat out in it, man. Dude. Like they love this. They love what they're doing. Okay? So so don't think don't think for a second. If you're a fan of Love Bites, don't think for a second that the members don't recognize you or respect you or any of that. No, nah, man. The feeling is mutual. I, I guarantee that. I one hundred percent guarantee that. Um, of course, we we do get some leg show there. That's not that for men of culture. That's not bad. Um, but you know these these are ladies. These are well, well clearly. But <clears throat> the music is really great. Um, is is fantastic. And of course, her stage presence is is just on man. It's really good in this song. It's really good. I like how. Uh, they go to the front, you know? They go to the front. They have their power stance while they're playing. Oh, man, when she's leaning back, playing like, oh, man. You telling me she's not in the zone right there? She's in the zone. And here is Mio coming in, mountain. Power stance. Power stance. Don't fight the dust, guys. Man, it's it, I like how the reverb on that is so fantastic oh man you know what I also really like about that song it's not really like a thrash song. It's not a power metal song. It is a straight up just heavy metal. It's just straight up heavy metal. You know, if anything, if you want to uh, uh, dissect it as far as like what sort of genre influence or whatever, I kind of hear more like a, a new wave of British uh, heavy metal kind of influence in there. But I mean, you could you could hear some of the. Um, you know, with the chord progression, it, you could be like, well, I mean, or, or well, I'm. S Maybe some a little bit of Van Halen in there. Uh, it's great. It's just straight up. It's just straight up metal. It's just straight up heavy metal. 
I love that. Anyway, Love Bites, Don't Buy the Dust. Let me know what you thought about this, this re-reaction, man. Um, you guys take it easy and have a good one.